Hello, and welcome to part 10, Four Corner Situations. In the last several videos, we've been looking at three corner situations, and if you missed any of those, uh, click here to head back to the last video. Um, you'll remember this position. This is our basic starting position, where we have three unsolved corners, and we've seen how using our commutator will solve all three of those corners at once. Okay, today we're going to move on and start looking at situations where we have all four corners unsolved and how to approach that. We're going to start off with the first type, which is all four corners needing permutation. So, uh, holding your cube like this, I want you to go ahead and uh, do a commutator on the right side. Okay. Now we're going to do a second commutator but holding the cube with blue in the front, again on the right side. And go ahead and double check, make sure your cube looks like mine. Okay? And you'll notice now that I have not three corners unsolved, but four, right? All four corners on top are unsolved. Now, let's go back to this. Remember with our basic starting position, where we had three unsolved corners, we only needed one commutator to solve all three of those corners. So, when you look at this cube with four unsolved corners, you might think to yourself, okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to solve, uh, I'm going to perform my commutator to solve three of these four corners, right? That would seem logical, right? If I can do, if I can solve all three on this cube, I should be able to solve three of the four on this one. Except if you understand cube theory, you'll know that that's not possible because that would leave you with just one corner unsolved. And as we've seen before, that's not possible. So when we have four unsolved corners like this, our goal is not to solve three of them, okay? Our goal actually is to solve just one and any one, okay? It doesn't even matter which one. We just need to pick one of these to solve. So looking at the top of the cube, right, white on top, I see that I have two corners that are oriented correctly, and you'll also notice that both of them are adjacent to where they belong. A left side commutator would solve that piece, and a right side commutator would solve this piece. So pick one. It really doesn't even matter. I'm gonna perform my commutator now, and I'm only going to be solving this first corner. So I'll do it on the right side to solve this piece. What about these other two corners? Well, I don't really care about them. They're not going to be solved. Like this one is going to rotate like that, right? Notice it's not going to be solved, and that's fine because my goal right now is just one corner, okay? So let's do it. Uh, and I think you guys are pretty familiar with the commutator now your cube will look like that. What did that do for us? Well, like I said, it solved just that first corner, right? That's it. That's all we were trying to do. What does that leave us with? Well, now that leaves us with three unsolved corners. And this should look familiar. This is what we've been working on for the last several videos, right? Three corners, all needing permutation. Not too hard. This is just like we've been doing all along. I see that I have an oriented corner, left side commutator, We'll move this piece here where it belongs. But I'm going to need a conjugate, right? I need the orange sticker in the front. Here it is. So one conjugate to bring the orange to the front. That's it. Now I can finish up the cube doing a left side commutator. And that's it. Okay? So that's the uh, most basic of the four corner situations that you'll be seeing where all four of them need permutation. Okay, uh, let's look at another situation. Again, holding the cube with red in the front, white on top. Let's do a commutator on the right. And I want to do a second commutator with green in the front. So green in the front, let's do another one. And that's going to give us this situation. Okay, double check. Make sure your cube looks like that. And if you've gotten better at recognizing good and bad pieces, you can see right away that this is a bad piece. Even though it's oriented correctly, it's across from where it belongs, so I can't use it, meaning I can't use it to begin my commutator. How about this piece? 
this piece is across from where it belongs also, but it's not oriented right. And you'll see that when this piece is oriented, it will become adjacent to where it belongs. So that's actually a good piece. Same with this one. This one is also a good piece. Once it's oriented, it will be adjacent to where it belongs. Okay, how about this one? This one too is also the same. Not oriented, but with a conjugate, it'll be oriented and it will be adjacent. Okay, so uh, we would just pick one of those three corners. Okay, it really doesn't even matter which one we choose. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it with um, the red, white, and blue piece. Okay, so let's, let's do it with this corner here. Okay, and again, remember what our goal is here. Our goal is not to solve three of these four corners, because that's not even possible. Our goal is to solve just one corner. So if I start with this red, white, and blue piece, that's the only piece I care about. That's the only piece I'm trying to solve. So I do my conjugate to move this white up top. Notice what that does. It puts this piece adjacent to where it belongs. Okay. Normally now I would need to look here and ask myself what color belongs here, right? But I don't even need to do that. Because, again, I'm not trying to solve three corners. I'm only trying to solve this one corner. So it doesn't even matter, okay? I'm going to do my right side commutator on these three corners, okay? It's going to solve only the first corner. These two won't be solved, and that's totally fine. My goal is to just get one corner solved right now. So, we do our commutator. Notice red, white, and blue is solved, which is what we were trying to do. And now we just finish up our commutator and then undo that conjugate we did. Okay, what does that give us? Well, we solved one of the four corners. That means we have three corners left. All three of them need permutation. And I can see, holding my cube with orange in the front, I've got an oriented piece here, correctly oriented, and it's adjacent to where it belongs. So now I can perform my commutator and solve all three of these corners at the same time. I need green here. Where's that green? Well, right now it's on top, so all I have to do is move that piece down, right? Green in the front will go here. And now I finish up my commutator. And undo the conjugate, and you're done. So that was uh, two situations uh, where you have all four corners needing permutation, okay? Let's make it just a little bit harder where you're going to have three unsolved corners on the top and one unsolved corner on the bottom. Okay, that makes it just a little bit tougher, but not too bad. Okay, okay, so let's do it with the uh, commutator on the right side. Okay, one commutator on the right side. And now we're going to do a second commutator, but we're going to hold the cube differently. So uh, turn the cube around so you have green in front, and then we're going to put the red on top, just like this. And we're going to do a left side commutator, but don't do it yet, because I want to show you the three pieces that we're going to use. Uh, this piece, this piece, and this piece. So, commutator on the left side, these three pieces, looks like this. And now you'll notice, if you hold your cube with red in front, you'll notice that we have three unsolved corners on top and one on the bottom and that's what we were uh, trying to accomplish. So uh, looking at the cube uh, we actually have several options several different pieces that we could begin with here. Um, let's keep it a little simple and just start with the red white and green piece. Okay uh, let's see where is that here it is the red white and green piece you'll notice right now it's across from where it belongs but it's not oriented correctly. So when I perform a conjugate on this piece and move the white sticker to the top, it will now make that piece adjacent to where it belongs. Okay? So I can do my right side commutator, and again, I'm only trying to solve just this first corner. Okay? I don't need to solve three of the four because I can't. So we're going to do our commutator on the right, and we're going to include these three corners. It looks like this. Okay, what does that leave us with? Well, we had four unsolved corners. Now we have three unsolved corners. 
because we solved one of them. Uh, looking at the cube, I have two unsolved on top, one on the bottom. I'll notice that this red, white, and blue corner is already oriented correctly. We know that it's also adjacent to where it belongs, so I'm going to start with that piece. Okay, But now I do want to solve all three corners at the same time. So I have to look here and recognize that I need the blue sticker here. And where is that blue sticker? In this case, it's hiding on the bottom. And that's fine. We just need to bring the blue sticker up to the front, the red side. So one conjugate, like that. Blue is in front. And now I can perform my commutator, and I'll just have that one conjugate. And undo the conjugate, and you're done. Let me uh, show you something else before we continue on. Let me take a, another look at this basic starting position here. Okay? We talked about the basic starting position, and in a previous video, I started talking to you for the first time, really, about the second corner. Okay? And how this second corner gets solved. Okay? We know that this second corner moves here like that. Okay? But I also told you how if you perform a conjugate using the third corner, it doesn't just affect the third corner, it also affects the second corner. Okay? This second corner, instead of looking like this, okay, would be oriented differently when it arrives here. Okay? Hopefully that rings a bell. If not, I'm going to go over it again with you. So, take your cube, and I want you to uh, um, perform two commutators on the right side. So, in other words, let's go back to that basic starting position. Okay? Two commutators on the right side. Then I want you to hold your cube with blue in the front. And I want you to do two more commutators again on the right side. And your cube will look like that. Okay, if you need to double check it, that's fine. Now, you'll notice I have one corner that is already oriented for the white side. I want you to twist the other three corners. And I want you to twist all of them to the right, which is going to put the white sticker on top. So twist this one to the right, and the third one twist it to the right. That's going to give you this rather interesting looking situation where we have four unsolved corners, but all four of them, as you can see, are oriented correctly. Unfortunately, all four of them are bad, because all four of them are located directly across from where they belong. Every single one of these is a cross. What does that tell us? It tells us that these pieces are not good for us to begin our commutator. I can't start my commutator with any one of these four, okay? So, we need to think a little bit differently here and how we want to go about trying to solve this, okay? We have an advantage, though. Remember with four unsolved corners, we're not trying to solve three right now. We're only trying to solve just one, any one. Any one of those four, that's all we need to do here. So, rather than trying to solve corner, let's say this is corner number one, right? And this is corner number two, and this is corner number three. Rather than trying to solve corner number one, we'll try to solve corner number two. Because if you think about it, who cares, right? As long as one of these three corners is solved, when I perform my commutator, that's all we need to accomplish here. And we've already said that there's no way to solve the first corner right? Because all four of them are bad. So don't worry about it. We're going to move this corner here, even though it doesn't belong there. This is the piece we're going to try to solve. Green, white, and orange, okay? Where does that piece belong? Well, we just said they all belong across from where they are. They all, yeah, they all belong across from where they are right now. So this piece actually belongs here. How can I move that piece here? Well, with a conjugate. I bring that corner down. Now, as you can see, this corner, orange and green, belongs right here, right? Orange and green. Not bad. What is it going to look like when it moves there? If I, if I were to do my commutator right now on these three corners, this one we know moves here, this one will move there like that. And that's where it belongs. Except we have a problem. Can you see what it is? This piece is in the right location, but it's not oriented correctly, is it? No, I need the green here to match these greens. 
and I need that orange up top to match these oranges. How do I do that? Hmm, let's see if you remember. How can I move this piece here and change its orientation at the same time? Well, the answer is with another conjugate, right? I've already done one conjugate, bringing this corner here. Now I'm going to perform a second conjugate, which is just bringing this corner down to here, okay? Another way you can think of it is right now this white sticker is going to go here, even though it doesn't belong there. If I bring this red sticker down to the front, now this red sticker is going to go here, even though it doesn't belong there. And again, that's okay, we don't care, because we're only trying to solve just this one piece here, okay? So, by performing that second conjugate, this piece is still going to move here, but it's going to be oriented properly when it gets there, okay? And if that seems complicated or if you don't believe it, just watch, it's going to happen. So, we hold our cube with red in the front, we've done our two conjugates, and now we're ready to go. On the right side, we begin our commutator, rotate this piece up to here, and now we undo that conjugate, which is two moves, right? One, two. What did that do? Well, it did exactly what we wanted it to do. It solved just this one corner. That's all we were trying to do. All we were trying to do was to get back to this basic situation of having just three unsolved corners. Because we know, after all the practice we've done, that solving three corners is pretty easy. So, now we have three corners left. You might think right away that it looks like we haven't accomplished anything because we still have all four white stickers on top. But we have accomplished something because we did solve that one piece. Okay? So, now we have this situation, which you saw in a previous video, where all the pieces are oriented correctly, and we're going to solve all three using just one commutator and a conjugate. Okay, if I hold the cube with green in the front, I see that this piece is oriented correctly and adjacent. It belongs there. What color belongs here? Red. Where's that red? Well, you might recall, uh, it'll always be in the same place. The color that you need here will always be hiding here in the back. And there it is. So I just bring it down to the front. Okay, now I perform my commutator again. Rotate this piece up. and undo my conjugate, and I'm done.